So today we're going to take a look at some of my completed 112 scale skeletons. All right, so these uh, came into being from the Home Depot and Big Lots, um, like $3 skeletons that they, uh, they offer during the Halloween season. So I picked up a bunch of them. I think I got like 10 of them. And I decided to see if I could um, improve them a little bit, um, buy some accessories off eBay, that type of thing. Um, the first thing I did was replace the head. It was much larger. Um, then I did uh, get some accessories from like GPS lots. And uh, I found people that sell spare parts from Mythic Legions. And um, just kind of trying to make them a little more... Um, unique and that type of thing um so anyway, that's the first one that i completed and he went through a, a few different transformations um but this is where he's at now and the second one i did which was uh this guy here and the nice part about him is i found out that along with this one you can actually um pop out the joints on these figures and the mythic legion joints um, pop right in place. You can see the ball joint here. It goes right into the stock fitting. I did have to heat this up uh, to soften it up to get it in. But once it's in there, uh, it's, it's a pretty neat fit and you got a pretty unique looking figure. Next up was when I tried a uh, soft bid uh, tunic. And again, Mythic Legion um, boots. The shoulder piece was from, I believe, a McFarlane uh, piece. I just painted it a, a reddish brown to match, kind of match the boots a little bit better. Um, it was silver before. And the thing with the uh, hands on the skeletons, they don't really have good grip factor. So I did have to put a layer of um, Sculpty Putty in there. And um, I don't I mean I can pull a weapon out, but I don't really care to, per se. And he's got his little cape. And then to give you an idea of what a, a more just a, a basic one looks like. Again, just the head was swapped out on this one. And to give you an idea, I do have my uh, Black Knight here. Oops. So you can kind of see how it looks in comparison. So for a relatively inexpensive uh, army builder, and, and that being inexpensive to compare, you know, um, how you want to make them, you know, they can be as expensive as you want. Now you can do just a really base one, um, but I do think the head is a, a must do. Um, but if you can find people that are selling for a reasonable price, the uh, Mythic Legend uh, accessories, uh, definitely worth looking into. If he'll stay in the now. I think he's had enough. So like I said, I do have um, another seven to still make. Um, and I'm in absolutely no hurry to make these things. Um, I think I'm into these for um, somewhere like a year and a half now. So as you can see, I'm not in a hurry to do them. Um, anyway, that's what I got. So I thought, uh, you know, it'd be interesting to share that and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will catch you later. Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye. Bye.